<laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, folks, I'm back on the water. This is my first time out actually out by myself in, oh, I think I only went out last time, last year by myself maybe two, three times, but this, this year will be the first time. It's early April. It's about 50 degrees out. Every day has been about 40 in the morning to go up to anywhere from 50 to 70 degrees. So today we've had, we've had some rain this morning. There might be some more rain coming, kind of small percentage though. Overcast skies. I'm at one of my local lakes that's about 300 or so acres. I'm going to go to a spot where I think they could be, which would be a nice shallow area because every lake that I've been fishing so far this year with landing. They've been in like two feet or less of water, like really like a foot. So I'm gonna go over there and talk to the, those areas, use a swim jig, a shallow diving crankbait, spinner bait, and see what we can get them on. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can get a big one. Yeah, yeah. Guys, fish in the boat. Finally, fish in the boat. Got that jig through the side. Here we go. Folks at home, folks at home. Landon, caught it, and myself are back out here. What are we gonna go for today? Pickerel. So we're at, we're at a lake that's known for a little bit more pickerel. So we're gonna throw the smaller base inline spinners swim baits, swim jigs, whatever, and uh, see what we can get. It's still early April. It's um, about 2 p.m., so we have at least a few hours out here. Wish us luck. Let's get a big one. See you soon. Oh, I got something, man. I got one. Landed. I think I got one. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I got a pickerel. <laughs> I got a pickerel. All right, guys. All right, guys. Oh, there he goes. Easy release. All right. We didn't get that on camera. That was a pickerel, though. First fish of the day. Pickerel, decent sized one, off some wood. Oh, there's one. Pickerel. Spinner. I got him. I got him. He's gone. That's it. That's why you shouldn't let me just pull them. No, you don't want to. They got teeth. If you had the net, that would be better. Fish number two, pickerel. Another easy release. Firing place? Yeah. Yeah, remember that time when I fall off the thing? Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> oh, there's one. Holy Christ. That's a good one. That's a big one, Landon. Oh. oh. That's a pretty good one, huh? Look at the size of that one. Hold that, hold it tight. Third pickerel on the boat. Let's let him go. 
So you hold on to this part, put this around your hand, this strap, so you don't lose it. You hold this, put this around your hand. Okay. Now all you gotta do is pull this back part and it'll come off. Just let him go, put him in. You can let go of this. You can let go. Just hold on to that part. I'll release some. Ready? Yeah. Go. Oh! <laughs> Look at the size of that one. Way back down there. What do you say, Landon? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. We just had another pickerel on. Let Landon fight him just to show him what it's like. He enjoyed it, but he came off. I'm using this little inline spinner I'll show you guys. These are really good baits for like finesse fishing. This is maybe 3 8 ounce or so. But the, the hook on it is horrible. So I'm definitely going to change it out and be prepared for future trips. But this will have, have anything almost bite it. And it really works well for pickerel and bass. But this lake we're fishing at is known for pickerel. So I figured try it out. There we go. So far we're working. What's that number four you think? Landon? 